Thanks to extreme weather and even supply chain issues, pumpkin growers and sellers across the U.S., they are facing some big hurdles to get pumpkins out before Halloween. Well, the biggest question we wanted answered is, is there a pumpkin shortage here in New Mexico? News 13's Madison Connor went looking for answers, and she joins us live in studio. Good morning, Madison. Yeah, good morning, David. The short answer is yes, but not nearly as drastic as what we're seeing nationally. Local farmers are facing some different hurdles. Right now, there's a shortage of pumpkins, a perceived shortage of pumpkins. As pumpkin farmers in other states like Texas and further east deal with fungus, New Mexico farmers are dealing with different hurdles. There's a major labor shortage. Max Wade is the owner of Galloping Goat Pumpkin Patch in Rio Rancho. Over the years, we've kind of developed our pumpkin patch to really cater to a lot of the local folks, but young families in particular. His pumpkin patch focuses on making picking a pumpkin fun for kids without the hassle of having his own farm. Yeah, I wish I had a big, big, beautiful farm that we could set everything up, we could grow the pumpkins, have people out. It's just not that way. Instead, for the past 15 years, he's brought in a majority of his pumpkins from a farmer in Estancia Valley. We try. Um, to support local farmers, bring in all of our pumpkins from New Mexico. But this year, Wade had to dig deep in his pockets. It costs a lot more. And buy from out of state. And it happened to work out that there was a farm in Colorado that had pumpkins harvested. We had a truck that was going that direction. The reason? His supplier says there just aren't enough hands to harvest the pumpkins in time. Wade says he's heard that's an issue at other local farms too. So why doesn't his supplier turn it into a pick-it-yourself experience like at Galloping Goat? Wade says it's not that simple. There's insurance and liability. There's so many things involved to be able to allow public to come onto your farm. And those farmers are set up for massive production. Thankfully, even the pumpkins not picked won't go to waste. There are always pumpkins left in the field, and they'll generally bring in cattle or goats or some type of livestock to uh, go ahead and eat those pumpkins. But it still doesn't add up to the revenue they could have received by selling the pumpkins to you. Madison Connor, KRQE News 13. Now another big issue local farmers say they're dealing with is a water shortage. I spoke with Wagner Farms in Corrales. They say they're seeing a pumpkin shortage because of the drought. David, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Madison. Now local farmers say that there is a good chance you will find a pumpkin to buy this year, but you may not get the one you really want. That's if you wait to